Hi everyone, Jack from Oscomoto here, and today we're going to talk about the Reckless 80 liter V3.0 revolver. This video is a complete walkthrough and overview of the Reckless 80 system. We have another video on the unboxing and installation, which I will link down in the description below. But for now, let's get into the details and features. The word reckless is a play on the word rackless. So this is a rackless luggage system. You don't need a metal pannier rack to mount the Reckless 80, although we do recommend some sort of rear luggage rack for it to sit on. The Reckless 80 is perhaps the most versatile luggage system in the Moscow lineup. It fits the entire spectrum from big 1250cc adventure bikes down to 125cc dirt bikes, virtually any motorcycle you can throw at it. We've designed the Reckless 80 for off-road riding and camping, trips on the backcountry discovery routes, and it makes a killer system for international fly-to-ride trips. For the Reckless 80, we replicated the traditional three-bag packing and organization system of a touring bike, two side panniers, and a rear center duffel. The system is built from a center harness and then these two side leg holsters. The center harness and the leg holsters are made from this rugged ballistic nylon material for abrasion resistance, and each hold a waterproof dry bag. This is the beaver tail and it's this double flapped overlapping compression system which secures the center tail bag and has a lot of built-in features of its own. On the outside of the beaver tail, we have a few built-in features. This is a Hypalon Molly panel for adding Molly accessories like a first aid kit or some sort of Molly storage pouch. Down here, there's two D rings which just add another point of attachment. You can load a tool roll or tent, camp chair between your tail rack and the beer tail here. Opening it up, we have a map or documents pocket, Velcro closure, clear for viewing your documents, and it's also completely removable. If you need to take this on the run, run into a passport office, or check out the map at your campsite. The center compression strap runs up from the rear of the harness and through this nylon webbing pass-through, clipping up top of the second half of the beaver tail and fully securing the Stinger 22. So let's take a look at the Stinger 22. I'll unclip the beaver tail, run this strap through the pass-through, releasing the Stinger 22. And you probably heard the sound of a Velcro when I picked the bag up. There are two Velcro patches on the underside of the Stinger and on the top side of the harness here designed to hold the Stinger in place. So this is the Stinger 22. It's a 100% waterproof roll top dry bag with welded seam construction. It's kind of loaded with features of its own. It's got this front pocket with a waterproof zip and a clear window. On the back side, this zip reveals backpack straps that connect down to these lower D-rings if you need to take the bag on the go. And you'll see these webbing pass-throughs on either side of the bag. These are here to enable you to run this bag as its own tail bag without using the rest of the Reckless 80 system. You would simply run compression straps through the webbing pass-throughs and secure the bag to the rear tail rack. With the backpack straps deployed, the Stinger makes a great bag as an airline carry-on for fly-to-ride travel or as a day pack for quick hikes or trips into town. All right, moving on, I'm going to set the Stinger aside down here. And I should mention on the underside of the second half of the beaver tail, we have two zippered pockets. They're clear but mesh lined. This is a great spot for toiletries or electronics, anything you wanna throw in here. On this latest 3.0 version of the Reckless 80, the beaver tail is actually completely removable with these gated clips, allowing you to run the Reckless 80 system without the center Stinger 22 tail bag. 
for rear fueling bikes like this Husky 701, we have this rear fueling hole allowing you easy access to your fuel tank and we have enlarged the opening for this latest version, the 3.0. You can also see here on the underside of the harness is a sheet of foam that just adds a layer of protection between the luggage system and the bike. All right, next up, I want to talk about these removable metal bars that you'll find throughout the Reckless 80 system. So we've designed this metal bar system so that every tie down and strap on the Reckless 80 mounts to the metal bar and not to the harness itself. It's not sewn directly to the harness. So in the event of some sort of blowout or breakaway on any of these tie downs or straps, they're modular and replaceable. You simply slide the metal bar out, put a new component in it, and slide the metal bar back in to secure it. The Reckless 80 kit also includes this tent pole bag it mounts to the underside of the beaver tail here. There's pass-throughs on the bag, pass-throughs on the beaver tail here. This has been designed as a solution for carrying your tent poles. If you separate the poles out and put them in here, one, this is a much burlier, more rugged and waterproof uh, carrying bag for your tent poles compared to the OEM bag that the poles might come in. And it also allows you to compress the soft parts of your tent into any of your dry bags, saving storage there, and then removing these larger tent poles and carrying them here on the underside of the beaver tail. This is the leg holster. And the leg holster mounts to the center harness and then carries a 25 liter dry bag on each side. The leg holster is made out of ballistic nylon it's got its own features like Hypalon Molly panels for adding a Molly pouch or first aid kit, any sort of Molly accessory. Here we have a reflective Moscomoto logo on either side. And this is a four liter auxiliary pocket that we call the Oxpox. The standard configuration for the Reckless 80 is one four liter Oxpox either side. The Stinger 22 tail bag, and then two 25 liter dry bags in the leg holsters, totaling 80 liters of storage capacity for the Reckless 80. The Oxpox are optional. They can be removed at any time for running a more minimalist setup. Each dry bag is secured into the leg holster with this center compression strap. And then these two swiveling side straps. It's a common mistake to close the dry bag like this, like any other dry bag you've worked with before, but we've designed this system to close with these swiveling side straps. So you can really cinch it down and compress it into the leg holster. So I'll remove this dry bag from the leg holster. Each dry bag has a clear window to allow you to see what you've packed inside. And we've also lined the interior of the bag with this bright Moscow cyan blue, which just provides more light and contrast for you to see what's inside when you're rummaging around and accessing your gear. Next up, let's talk about the adjustable angles on the leg holsters here. This is what puts the word revolver in the Reckless 80 V3 revolver. When setting this up for your bike, you'll have four angle options to choose from, zero, one, two, or three. This bike is currently set up at a two, but you'll choose whichever angle works best for you and your bike and whatever lower mounting options you have to work with. So each auxiliary pocket, the Oxbox, comes with a four liter dry bag. This is great for any additional storage you need. We think it's a great spot for liquids and lubricants, spare oil, chain lube, etc. Each Oxpox dry bag comes with this little leash on the bottom. 
and you might be wondering what that's all about. So we've designed the aux pockets to carry this four liter dry bag, but they're also designed to perfectly fit two of these one liter MSR fuel bottles for carrying extra fuel. So I've tethered both of the caps of these two fuel cans together. You can see they have a really nice snug fit down here in the Oxpox holster. Tethering them together on the lid allows you to clip this closed and just have a little safety there so those things don't pop out while riding. Another alternative use for the Oxbox is to replace the dry bag with a water storage bag, like this two liter MSR drum light. These are sold on the Moscow website or you can find them direct from MSR. Simply remove the dry bag from the Oxbox and replace it with the water storage bag. And then secure it in place by running the clip through the loop found on top of the water storage bag. At the bottom of the Oxpox, you'll find this neoprene access port to access the spout on the bottom of the water storage bag. While we're talking about the leg holsters, this is a great time to talk about the heat shield. The heat shield is included with your Reckless 80 kit and it's designed to mount to any bike's exhaust, stock or aftermarket. So aftermarket exhausts are going to run a lot cooler than your stock exhausts, but regardless, whatever you're running, we really recommend you use the heat shield to protect the heat from the exhaust from melting the underside of your reckless system. So it mounts with the simple hose clamp here, slide that around the exhaust, run it through these pass-throughs and clip off any of the excess tail. All right, throw me the dry bag. This lightweight 20 liter dry bag also comes included in your Reckless 80 kit. Throw it inside any of the three primary dry bags to simply separate your wet and dirty gear from your dry and clean gear. All right, so before we wrap up here, I just want to go over a quick review of your expandability options. If 80 liters is just not enough storage for you, you've got plenty of options to expand the storage capacity on this system. The beaver tail has plenty of excess webbing to expand the beaver tail for additional storage, sliding jackets, tents, anything underneath here. Cinch back down and secure. The back side of the beaver tail has a three column Hypalon Molly panel for adding Molly pouches and accessories here, as well as Molly panels on both sides of each leg holster. Plenty of options for expanding the capacity beyond 80 liters. And again, this has to be the most versatile bag in the Moscow luggage lineup. It works on everything from a 1250cc adventure bike down to a 125cc two-stroke. Virtually any bike you can throw it at. So thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description below. I'll link back to the Moscow website where you can get full details and material info on the Reckless 80, as well as the link for the video on the unboxing and installation. Thanks for watching. See you out there.